Hello, Pisces souls. Welcome to your reading. I am so grateful that you are here. My name is Nikki, and I use my clairaudient and channeling abilities to help people find the magic within. If you're new here, welcome. I am so excited to be bringing this reading to you today. This week's series, I have channeled 12 different Disney quotes for each zodiac sign. I found a website that was captioned 155 Disney quotes, and I channeled them and wrote them on the slips of paper in this tin, which there are three left. I felt inspired to do this series because Disney has a way of evoking joyful emotions within us, and when I was a young kid, my grandma would watch me and my sister in the morning because my mom would go to work. And she would put on a Disney movie in the morning for us to watch. We'd watch about 20 minutes, we'd have breakfast, and then we would go to school. And the next day we would do it all over again until we completed the, the movie. So I have very fond memories of watching these Disney films with my grandma and my sister. And it elicits a lot of joy within me. So my intention for this reading for you is that it brings you joy, that it inspires you, that it puts a smile on your face, or that it brings some clarity if you're experiencing something difficult at this time. So let's see what your Disney quote is, Pisces. We have... I'm going to do my best to take my place in the sun. This was said by Tiana from The Princess and the Frog. And on that website, there were 155 quotes and they were each numbered. This was number 129. So feel free to look up that angel number and see if your angels have additional messages for you there. I will also be pulling four different cards from four different decks. The first deck we're using is the Disney Villain deck. Thank you, Spirit. What are your additional messages for my Pisces souls? We have the Six of Wands. Next, we will be using the Moonology deck. Thank you, Spirit. What else? Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. The next deck we're using is the Light Seer Tarot. Thank you, Spirit. What else? We have the Page of Swords. And your final card will come from the Angel Answers deck. Thank you, Spirit. What are your final messages for my Pisces souls? We have romance. Okay, Pisces. So what I'm picking up on with the Page of Swords here 
is that you're juggling a lot. The gal on this card, she is studying something. She's walking a tightrope while also juggling all of these brilliant light bulb ideas. So Spirit is showing you have a lot on your plate at this time. But with your quote, I'm going to do my best to take my place in the sun. You're shining despite all of that. Even if you feel like you're not, your light is shining so, so bright. And you're getting all of these light, bright ideas. I'm being drawn to the light bulbs on the page of swords here. Holding on to all those ideas. I'm also seeing, for some of you, you, you write these ideas down so that you can remember them later. And that is an amazing thing to do. Because if I don't write something down, I have a tendency to forget. So that is a very, very admirable trait that you have, Pisces. I'm going to do my best to take my place in the sun. I'm going to place my hand on this card and see what I can hear specifically from Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, I, I'm hearing laser focus. So whatever you're doing in your life right now, your focus is laser like on it. <laughs> like your, your vision, you have a vision in mind and you're very determined is what spirit is showing me. And because of this, your light is also shining very brightly. What else, Spirit? Thank you. Yeah, they're drawing me to the Six of Wands here, which is all about influencer energy. See how the gal on the card here is shining very brightly as well? Just riddled with so much confidence and owning who she is. This is the energy that you're in right now, Pisces. It's really, really beautiful. I'm going to place my hand on the Six of Wands and the quote and see what I can hear with the combination energies of these two things. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, I'm hearing social media. Some of you are gaining more of a social following on certain social media platforms. What else, Spirit? Thank you. I'm also hearing Instagram is a big one for a lot of you. I'm hearing doing whatever it takes. Spirit is showing me that you have a new perspective about how you're approaching these things. I'm seeing there is a certain level of detachment that you have pulled away from. You're not attached to the outcome with something, and this is what it is magnetizing it to you. If we have that, that needy energy that actually repels what we want, but no, Spirit is showing me that you are taking a detached perspective, and this is what is drawing all of this light to you based off of the light that is radiating from you right now. Just see how the light is just all glimmering around her and the wands are lit up around her. This is someone in their power. What else, Spirit? Thank you. Yeah, they're saying dancing in the limelight. They're saying soak it up. Like, <laughs> they're showing me a person with the sun just literally all around them and just basking in it and soaking up all of that light because you're a light, Pisces. What else, Spirit? Thank you. Yeah, they're also saying <laughs> you're not letting the haters get to you. Whereas in the past, you may have, no, there's a new perspective here where you're like, I'm in my power. I don't care what people think anymore. I'm doing me. And it is literally 
shifting your reality because of this perspective that you're choosing to take. Confidence is your key to success. So this is what is really changing in your reality is the level of self-confidence you're having in yourself and that is why your light is shining so bright. I'm seeing a lot of you have done a lot of affirmation work or inner work telling yourself I am confident. I am confident in social situations. I speak my truth no matter what. I'm being shown how a lot of you have done these affirmations and because you've been consistent with it, it has worked. The law of attraction is always working and it works based off of the vibration that we are emitting. So these positive vibrations that you are emitting into the world, Pisces, it is taking effect. And I can see you're starting to see this reflected in your reality. This could be in the form of a compliment from someone. It could be in the form of opportunities showing up because the more value that we have within ourselves, that value is reflected back at us because we're validating ourselves. We're loving ourselves. And this is the energy you are in right now, Pisces. It is truly amazing. Yeah, in all of these wonderful ideas, I'm seeing that you're getting a lot of inspired downloads with creativity. And I am seeing because of all the things you're juggling, there has been what I can see a little bit of confusion as to which idea to act on. So it's almost like you're, you're putting your hand in all these different pots. And that is okay. But Spirit is saying to focus on the one first and foremost, or if that's one or two things, that bring you the most joy. Because that will help you get out of this energy of feeling like you have to juggle everything. Okay? So I'm going to place my hand on the Page of Swords and confidence is your key to success and see what I can hear. Thank you. Yeah, they're, they're saying to loosen up a little bit. Because of everything that you've taken on, there is a little bit of energy that feels very rigid in like, I have to get all of this done in this order and this way and that. And if I don't get it done in this way, then it's all just not to my liking. Um, Spirit is saying to just, you know, loosen up a little bit. Let that energy go. Just focus on your inner peace. Take some deep breaths. And then when you are in a peaceful place, after you have aligned your energy, that is the energy that you create from, okay? They're saying don't try to create from an energy where you're feeling rigid, where you're feeling confused. They're saying to meditate, take a couple of minutes, breathe in, breathe out, center yourself, get aligned in mind, body, and soul, and then create. Because if we're creating from an energetic field of having to do everything perfectly or having to do everything in a certain amount of time or one that feels more anxiety-induced, the creation will not turn out the way that you would like it to. When we create from a place of stillness, alignment, that is when the extraordinary intuitive hits really come forward through our creations, Pisces. What else, Spirit? Thank you. There is an energy here. Who is this? Who's coming forward right now? I'm hearing grandma, okay? Someone's grandma is here. Someone's grandma who has passed over. What message do you have for your Pisces loved ones, grandma? Thank you. Sure. 
she's saying something about insurance. What about insurance? Thank you. She's saying to get some insurance with something. What is this insurance for? Is this car insurance? Is this insurance on a home? Is this insurance on... What is this for? I'm feeling very strongly um, medical insurance. Um, I'm being shown someone here, some of you here, there's a, a medical issue of some sort, and she's saying medical insurance will help you. It will, also, it will also help you put your mind at ease if there has been some issues with finances, because this insurance will help you get the medical care you need with whatever it is you're experiencing, Pisces. What else? Thank you. Yeah, she's saying that she's pointing out um, a karmic cycle in your ancestral lineage. She's saying if she had taken medical, if she had paid for medical insurance, she wouldn't have experienced some of the things that she did. She's saying medical insurance will really help you. She's saying don't make the same mistake that she did. Anything else? Thank you. She's also saying something about a liar. She's saying there's someone around he who's not telling the truth with something. What is this? Thank you. Or who is this? Yeah, she's drawing me to the romance card here. For some of you, it's someone you're romantically involved with. They're not being 100% honest about something. Okay, how will they know that they're not being honest? How will they, how can they pinpoint this to see that this person isn't telling them the truth? And thank you so much for bringing this to the light. I'm hearing the word scorned. So when this person is lying, they will get very defensive. They will get very angry about something. That's how you'll be able to tell if they're lying. If they overreact to something that people wouldn't normally overreact to. And she's telling me that you have noticed this trend in this person, but I'm being shown that there's something in the near future here that will really shine a light on this. Because your light is shining so bright, your your energy is actually triggering a lot of people. And whoever this person is that is deceptive and is lying, your light is actually helping to bring the truth out in a way that you don't even realize it is. Okay? So the way you'll be able to tell this person is lying, if for some of you, it's a romantic partner. They will get very defensive. They will react very angrily about something that is not something most people would typically be angry about. So just be on the lookout for that. Your grandma is bringing this information to you so that you will 
you have the tools that you need to prepare for when it does. You'll have the tools to prepare you for when it does happen, okay? But on another note here, there is romance coming into your lives for some of you, those who are not in a romantic partnership. Thank you, Spirit. Tell me a little bit more about romance. Yeah, <laughs> it's next to the Page of Swords here, and they're showing me that a lot of you don't feel like you are in a place right now because you're drug you're, you are juggling so much that you're not ready to take on the commitment of a relationship but i'm being shown that some of you while you're out and about you may find that you meet someone in a romantic fashion <laughs> so that is really cool i'd like to learn a little bit more about this what is going to transpire with this spirit? Thank you. Yeah, for some of you, it will be in a group. Like, I'm being drawn to the book that she's reading. It will be somebody that you meet while you're studying for something. Or if you're someone who just likes to read in public, it could be somebody who asks you what you're reading. It could be just a group of people that you're meeting up with to talk about stuff with, things that you're passionate. It, it's going to be a connection that catches you off guard, one that, you're, that you don't see coming, Pisces. And this energy is coming into your life because of the confidence you are exuding and the light that you are shining in the world. The fact that you are doing your best to take your place in the sun. So a lot of really fun things to look forward here. So Spirit is saying, first and foremost, keep taking your place in the sun. That is where you rightfully belong, Pisces. With the Six of Wands energy, this is the energy that just reaffirms you shining your light in the world and not caring what the haters think anymore. Just being yourself, being who you are authentically, because that is what authentically magnetizes all of your desires to you. Things are really moving forward in a powerful way, and it's because of the confidence that you are having within yourself. So Spirit is saying to remember that confidence is your key to success. So with the Page of Swords here, all of this busyness that you're, you're juggling at this time, you're getting a lot of creative ideas from all the different experiences you have. So continue to write these ideas down, but also focus on the ones that are bringing you the most love and joy in your heart. And that will help you to come back to center um, with your inner peace because then you can have a better idea of what to let go of and what to focus your attention on at this time. And in terms of romance, for some of you there is someone that is not being honest, so just be mindful, as your grandma said, of when this person reacts out of anger to things that people wouldn't normally be angry about. Be on guard with that and you'll be prepared to handle it because you're you're a very composed person, Pisces. You do have a lot of emotions you feel very strongly, but emotions really are your superpower. And on another level, some of you are about to meet a soulmate if you have not already based off of all of these different experiences you're having, these events you're going to, the these groups of people that you're interacting with, there is a romantic interest that you will meet from having taken part in these activities. Or it could be as simple as just reading a book in public where they come and ask you what you're reading. So there's a lot here to look forward to, Pisces. So keep taking your place in the sun. It is where you belong. 
that is all that I am seeing. Those are your messages. If your reading resonated, if you enjoyed it, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!